We all know how important it is to create a brand that builds trust. But exactly how do you do this on your website? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my little secret and a little tip that you can use to create a website that is both on brand, consistent and cohesive. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicola. I'm a web designer and developer for female entrepreneurs. And on my channel, I share top WordPress tips and tricks to help you create your own website for your business. So if this sounds like something that you love, then be sure to hit the subscribe button to get notifications of when all my new videos come out. So my secret tip to creating a website that is both on brand, consistent and cohesive is to create a style guide. And this is probably a term that you might have heard before. So a style guide is essentially your go to document that you're going to work from when creating your website or any kind of elements for your social media platforms. Not only can a style guide keep you on brand, but it can also promote efficiency. Have you ever had those times where you're like, oh, what color goes with this or what font, etc. If you've got a style guide, you can instantly refer back to that and you know what your colors are and what your fonts are. Remember, having a brand that is consistent helps to build brand recognition and trust with your clients. Your clients will also come to expect certain things from you and a look and feel. And once they instantly see that font or they instantly see that color, then they'll know that that is from you and that just creates that brand recognition and trust. Now your style guide is going to include a couple of elements that you will continuously refer back to. So the first element is your main logo. Then you might have some sub logos, so some watermarks or a favicon. So generally you might have like a linear logo and then you might have square logos or something like that. Obviously the sub are not absolutely ne necessary, but you might want to have some other logos for different social media platforms or for your website. The next thing is your typography. And I generally like to say that the typography should be made up of three fonts. So you've got your sans serif font, your serif font, and then a script font. So that's your more styled font that you use quite limited on your website. The next thing are your colors. So your colors um, will be some darker tone colors, some lighter background colors, and then accent colors. So these are what you'll use on your website for like hover effects. So maybe for example, on a button or a link. The next element that you might want to include on your style guide is any patterns or symbols or icons. So my branding includes some scribble elements, which I have gotten from Canva. And then the last thing might be patterns. So you might have background patterns that you would like to include on your style guide. So now you might be wondering, okay, that sounds really great, but how exactly do I create my own style guide? Okay, so the number one tip I have for you is to really know your business inside and out and know who you are serving. Remember, it's all about your customers. So you want to create a brand that really speaks to them. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to start by creating a logo or coming together with some inspiration to work from. And then you're going to create a style guide in Canva. And I'm going to dive into my screen and I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create a go to style guide that you can use for your website. To make life easier, I have created a Canva template for you to work from. So be sure to click the link below to download that template and use it in Canva to create your own website style guide. So here I am in Canva, my favorite tool for creating graphics for both my website and for my social media platforms. So Canva is a free tool. However, they do have a pro version. A pro version allows you to add your branding colors, your fonts, and then also some branding elements. And then there are scribble elements or graphics that are professional, but the free version is absolutely perfect. Now with Canva, there are several style guide templates that you can use. So if you go to canva.com and in the search bar, if you type style guide, two words, press enter, you will then see several different style guides that you can use. So you've got one here 
one here and one here. So you might have seen this kind of graphic around on Pinterest and basically all it shows is the logo, the colors, the fonts, the patterns and the scribble elements or I say scribble elements just because that's what I use but it's basically just any other elements that make up your branding. So I have created an amazing, very simple template style guide that you can work with. Just click the link below um, and then you can download that style guide. So basically it starts off with the main logo and the sub logos. So this is where you would pop in your logo. Now, if you don't have a logo again, Canva has some amazing logos that you can work from. So you just go to canva.com and then type in logo, click enter. And that comes up with so many different logos that you can select and then you can just change the wording and you can change the colors, etc. So you'll pop in your logo and your sub logos. So I'm going to refer back to my launch with WordPress style guide and you can see there is my main logo. I don't really have any sub logos, but if I did, I would add them in there. Then I have my colors and as you can see, I have nine different colors. So generally your first two colors are your accent colors. So those colors which are a bit brighter and bolder and um, they just draw attention to a certain point on your website. So it could be a button or a hover color or something like that. And then your next three, four colors are your contrast colors. So you're more darker colors that you would use for headings and for the paragraph font on your website. And then the last three will be the colors that are used for your background and those are called base colors. So let's have a look at launch with WordPress. Here we've got our accent colors. So those are hover colors, they're brighter colors. And then we've got four kind of dark blue gray colors and then our base, which is our background colors. And you might also notice at the bottom, this little hex code here, and that is the hex code that you will use on the web. And that's the web color. So what you're simply going to do is you're going to click on the circle and then in the top left here, you will see the color. So you'll click on color and then you will click on this plus icon. You will find the color that you want. Let's say, for example, this green color, and then you will see this hex code here. So you can right click, copy that. And then you will come down to your style guide and then you will paste in that hex code there. Now, once you paste in that hex code, you've got that hex code on hand at all times. So whenever you're working on your website or you're working on any kind of documents, you can just refer back to this and use this hex code. Then this is your favicon here, number three. This is a small little icon, which is generally about 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So it's a square and it's that little icon that you see in a browser tab. So it's in the top left and it just gives that brand recognition. So if someone has several different tabs open, they can instantly recognize your little icon and then click back to your website. So Canva's got a little C, you've got on Gmail, a little mail icon, MailChimp has the monkey and yellow. So think about it being very simple and using the brighter colors of your color palette. So going back to launch with WordPress, you've got here my simple favicon, which is just a W for WordPress. Okay, so the next is your typography. So here we have our three different fonts. We've got two serif fonts and a script font. So I've put in the heading font, the paragraph font and the script font. So generally what I would do is instead of just writing um, heading font, I should write the Barlow font. And then this one is Work Sans. And then this one is Ball Pen. Okay, and what I highly recommend is going with Google Fonts. If you don't know where to find fonts, then Google Fonts is really great. They've got over 1,300 fonts for you to choose from. They are all free and they're easy for you to install on your website. So you can browse all their fonts by going to fonts.google.com. And there we can see there are 1,358 fonts available for you. You can filter them by categories. So serif fonts, sans serif fonts, handwriting, etc., And you can use all these fonts on your website. So you don't need to pay for them. And the bonus thing about Google fonts is that they are fast loading. 
And the last section we have here is any additional elements. So your patterns, your textures, etc. Again, Canva makes this really amazing because you can come to elements, you can type in patterns, and click enter and there are so many different patterns that you can choose from some of them are the pro and if you hover over it you can see that pro version but the free also has lots of elements to choose from so for example if you type in scribble you get all different kind of scribble elements that you can use and you can change them according to your branding colors so let's choose these hearts and we will pop them in here then in the top left here we can click on color and then we can simply click that button, click there, and then choose our green, and that changes it to our branding colors. So let's just look at launch with WordPress. Here we've got all our swash, our arrows, our little circle, and our tick elements. So once we are happy with our style guide, what we're going to do is we are going to download that style guide as a PDF. So we're going to come to the top right here, click download, then click PDF standard, and then we are going to download this and then we're going to save that in a safe place so that when we start creating any graphics, social media graphics or creating our websites, we can quickly and easily refer back to the style guide and make sure that we are on brand and keeping that consistency. That's how you create a style guide for your website to create consistency and to build that brand recognition and client trust. So if you use my template or you follow this video to create your style guide, I'd love to see it. Be sure to pop any of your comments in the comments below and um, share that style guide with us. Okay, I hope you like this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.